Hi, you're watching GearWire.com. I'm Owen O'Malley. And uh, this is going to be a short demo on how to use Reason 5 as a mastering suite for, uh, for audio that you exported from other DAWs. Now, Propellerhead's rewire uh, sort of applet or you know, support application lets you stream audio from Reason or Record into another rewire capable program, but you can't stream audio back into Reason or Record. This is what keeps you from using uh, the Reason devices as third-party plugs when, you're, uh, when you've got a session in a different DAW like Logic or Pro Tools or Cubase or something. However, because Reason 5 comes with uh, sampling capabilities, you can export a song in Logic as a wave and then load it into one of the sample playback devices in Reason and make use of Reason's really good mastering class uh, devices. So this is just going to be a quick tutorial on how to do that. Now I've got my little uh, shuttle song, shuttle program song loaded up here that I've been using in uh, a couple of other, uh, well actually only one other demo, the uh, soft tube, tube tech classic channel demo. Uh, so the first thing you want to do obviously is, you know, once you've got your session where you want it, uh, you want to bounce it down to a wave file. Okay, so now you can see we've got NASA shuttle program a wave file on my desktop here, so on my messy desktop, it's now we open Reason. First thing you want to do is make sure your audio is set at the same sample rate as uh, your Logic session was, or whatever your you know Origin DAW session sample rate was. Now we don't need to create a mixer or anything. All we need to do is create the M Class Mastering Suite Combi. And the device we're going to use for our sample playback is the Redrum, or Redrum, whatever you want to call it. And we don't want to use Kong, and I'll show you why. Let's just create an instance of Kong here. Here's the reason right here, this little decay control. Even at max decay rate, uh, if you're playing a sample that's as long as a song, and this song is only about you know, just under two minutes long, the decay is still noticeable. It's, it's never infinite. So, you, you know, as you play back a two minute long song, you will notice the volume start to gradually taper off. So that by, uh, you know, the one minute mark, you're at about half of volume as your initial, uh, your initial song was. So, so you don't want to use Kong. Now, we're just going to uh, load our sample into the first slot, the first playback slot on Redrum right here. It's on the desktop. Open the NASA, NASA no, it's hard to say, NASA Shuttle Song. NASA Shuttle Program Song, there you go. So you can see it's loaded into the first uh, redrum playback slot. You wanna make sure your pitch is set at zero, unless you wanna do silly things with the song. Bring your velocity to zero also. Basically just wanna zero out all of these, except for your drum length. You wanna crank that. Uh, and level you can crank also. Now let's just make sure that redrum is routed into our mastering combi. This. Now I'll hit the trigger for playback. When I'm forced to think of all the good things that Richard Nixon did. Okay, so now I'm going to do um, like they do in cooking shows and pull a, a pre baked cake out of the oven. I've already done a quick master on this uh, NASA shuttle program song. But before we start, uh, the obvious sort of, I guess, issues here with playing back, you know, use, using Reason as your master session uh, playback is that since you're playing it as a sample, you can't really stop or start or go back to a specific point in the sample. But that's kind of okay for the purposes of mastering. Mastering, especially with shorter sort of pop songs, you want to listen to the whole thing sort of in its entirety. That may be me speaking more to a specific philosophy of mastering than uh, me being an apologist for using Reason as a mastering suite. Regardless, the mastering tools in Reason are pretty awesome. So let's just hear what, what I've got here. Things 
things that Richard Nixon did. There's a single presidential deed that tops the list. When America was searching for a cheaper way to space, he ended several decades worth of engineers debates. And lent his name to documents that finally paved the way for the NASA shuttle program. A crew of seven astronauts the shuttle capsule held, strapped to a pair of booster rockets, solid fuel propelled. Okay, so you can see I used the uh, length control to uh, stop playback there. Um, one thing that I sort of did uh, inadvertently when setting up this master was I forgot to level out the tone control on the playback here on, on Redrum. So I'm sort of taking a bit of high end off of it and then replacing the high end with the M class equalizer. Uh, but I kind of like the sound that, uh, that came out of it. It's, um, you know, it's sort of one of those little accidental magical moments. Not to talk it up too much because it's you know, really just a mistake that I just kind of like the way the mistake sounds, but uh, it's kind of like you know, uh, engineers like Mutt Lang used to get a cool, airy sound uh, out of vocals by you know running the Dolby noise reduction EQ boost uh, without then running the decode. If you know what I'm talking about, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll, I'll, I'll link to it in the accompanying video copy. But anyway, so once you get a sound that you're happy with and you're ready to actually bounce down, all you gotta do is go to your sequencer here, create a little bit of a region, draw a single note. Where your NASA shuttle song is. And then you make sure that your cycle region is as long as your song is. Now we know that the song is two minutes and three seconds long. So we'll go back to reason here. We'll move our playhead to two minutes, three seconds. Actually, we'll just do two, four to be safe. In fact, we'll make it two, five. Let's see what bar that ends up at. Copy paste that to our right cycle limit. So that's the length of our song. Now all we gotta do is bounce it. This has been a tutorial for using Reason 5 as a mastering suite. Uh, using external audio that's been, uh, you know, final mixes bounced down from, from any DAW, really. This is Owen O'Malley with GearWire.com. Thanks for checking us out.